Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are on page five of our notes, um, and we're looking at notes 2.3. This is video 2.3. Um, and now we're going to be talking about solving multi-step equations, okay? So what are the steps to solving multi-step equations? The first thing that I want you guys to try to do, if possible, is to see if you can distribute. If there's any distributing that can happen, you want to distribute first. So basically, you're just going to simplify each side of your equation, okay? And then you're going to... Sorry about that. Next step is going to be to blank like terms. Hopefully you know that the step should say collect like terms. And essentially all you're doing here is you are simplifying each side. Okay? Once you do that, hopefully at this point in time you know that I'm always going to tell you to get the variables on one side and the constants on the other side. Okay, and then the last thing you're going to do is solve. Once you get to that point, it's super easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow these steps. So step one says to distribute. So I'm going to see if I can distribute. Well, I've got this 5 on the outside, I can distribute that 5. So it becomes 5x plus 15. And then the rest of my equation stays exactly the same. Plus 3x equals 2x minus 12 plus 3x. Okay. Then I'm going to see if I can collect like terms. But they have to be on the same side. If they're not on the same side, I'm not allowed to put them together. Okay? So this 5x and this 3x, I'm allowed to put those guys together. But I'm not allowed to put it together with this 2x because it's on the other side of your equation. Remember, your equal sign separates your two sides of your equation. So when I put 5x and 3x together, I get 8x, and then I just copy this 15 down, okay? Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Well, on the right side of my equation, I've got 2x and 3x. When I put them together, I get 5x, and then I'm just going to copy down the minus 12, okay? Now that I've done that, my I can go on to my third step. Well, my third step says to get the variables on one side and the constants on the other. So right here, I've got variables on both sides and I've got constants on both sides, and I don't want that. So remember, get rid of the variables on the side that has less variables on it, the least amount of variables on it. So I'm going to get rid of this 5x. So how do I get rid of it? I subtract 5x. Well, whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. Remember that? So how do I make sure I did this right? Well, 5x minus 5x is nothing, so I know that that's going to cancel out, so that's good. But here, 8x minus 5x is 3x, so I get 3x plus 15 equals, and then I have a negative 12 left over, okay? But I haven't gotten my constants on the other side. So since I put the variables on the left side, this 15 needs to go. I don't want that 15 there anymore. So how do I get rid of that plus 15? I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides, and I'm going to figure out what I get. 15 minus 15 ends up giving me the 3x that I want because the 15 minus 15 cancels out. I've got nothing there. Is equal to, let's use our scoreboard really quickly, team negative 1, 12 points, and another 15 points. So team negative 1, 27 points. So the answer here is negative 27. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my last step. My last step says to just solve. So right here, if I've got 3 times x, the opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals negative 9, and I'm all set. Okay? So let's take a look at our second example that we have here. We're going to follow the list of steps exactly how we see it. So step 1 says to distribute. So let's go ahead and distribute. We've got a lot of distributing here. So 3 times p becomes 3p, 3 times 7 becomes 21, okay? Here, what we're, the only thing that's going to get distributed is the negative, but I still have to distribute it through. So this becomes minus 4p, and this minus 1 becomes a plus 1, okay? Then I'm going to distribute the negative 5 through. Negative 5 times 2p is negative 10p, and negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. And then I get this plus 1 right here. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put together things that are like each other. So 3p 
and negative 4p. So I'm done with step 1, which is distribute. Step 2 is collect like terms. I can only put the 3p and the 4p to, negative 4p together. I cannot put the negative 10p with it because this is on the opposite side. So let's go ahead and use our scoreboard to figure this out. Well, team negative one, or sorry, team positive one, three points here. And then over here, when I look at this over here, team negative one, four points. So team negative one by one point. So I'm going to say negative P or negative one P. Okay. And then I also have 21 and one. So when I put those together, it gives me 22 equals. Now on the right side, this negative 10 P here has nothing like it on the right side. So I'm just going to copy it down as negative 10 P. Okay. And then here, this 15 is like this one. I can put them both together. They're, they're both positive. So I get 16. Okay. So now I'm on step three, which tells me to get the variables on one side and the constants on the other. Well, I want to get the variables together on one side. So I'm going to get rid of the variables that has the smaller number. So now here I've got negative one P and here we've got negative 10 P and on the number line, negative 10 P is farther to the left. So I'm going to get rid of a negative 10 P. How do I get rid of negative 10 P? I add 10 P. What is negative 10 P plus 10 P? It's nothing. It cancels out, right? And then here I'm going to do negative 1 P plus 10 P. Well, negative 1 goes for team negative, and then the 10 goes for team positive. So team positive 1 by 9 points. So I get 9P, copy down the 22 is equal to, and then I just have 16 left over here. So now I need to get rid of this plus 22. Well, the opposite of adding 22 is subtracting 22. So let's go ahead and see what we get right here. So we've got team negative, team positive, team positive 1, 16 points right here. Team negative 1, 22 points. So who won the game? Team negative. By how many points? They won by negative, but they won by 6. So the answer here is negative 6. So you get 9p equals negative 6. Then I get to my last step, which is to solve. How do I solve? Well, since this is multiplication, I'm going to divide both sides by 9. So I end up getting p equals negative 6 over 9. But I want to reduce this. These are, are Both of these numbers are divisible by 3, so I get negative 2 thirds. So that means that p equals negative 2 thirds. Okay?